There's a lot of stock footage and music websites out there as well as a lot of creative tools and plugins. In this video, I'm gonna be going over 20 tools, music, and stock footage websites that I use on a daily basis as a creative director and give my honest thoughts on them. I'm gonna be ranking them on a tier list that way you can compare and kind of see what my thoughts are on it if you're planning to try out any of these services. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. Three, two, one. Now before we get started, I just wanna say a lot of this is just based on my own experience using these products and services. You might have a different experience, so just take this as just one person's opinion. I also wanna say that if you're interested in any of these that I'm going over today, I will link them down in the video description with also more information on each one. So be sure to check the description for the links to learn more about each one of these that I'm gonna go over today. All right, let's dive into item and service number one. All right, so the first service on our list is Adobe Creative Cloud. So Adobe Creative Cloud, I obviously use a lot. It's the main thing that I use for creativity in general, whether it's Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop. The subscription has a lot of video and design applications I use all the time. So I'm gonna rank this in the A category. I know a lot of people have mixed emotions about Adobe Creative Cloud, but in general, they offer a lot. And for $50, $60 a month, they offer a lot of value. I think there's room for improvement, so that's why I'm not putting in an S tier, but it's a really, really great subscription to have if you're a creative professional. All right, so the next service on our list is AE Juice. I use AE Juice quite a bit for After Effects and Premiere Pro. I often use their free plugin. So they have a free pack that I use they do also have paid packs. I don't use any of the paid packs. I usually stick to the free version. One of my favorite features in AE Juice for After Effects is the copy ease function. That's a really nice feature to copy keyframe eases. Uh, so there are some golden nuggets in the free version. I'm gonna list this in the B category. It says I don't use it a lot, but sometimes I use it here and there, and it's just a good tool to have in my back pocket. All right, so next we have Animoto. So Animoto is a online video editing slideshow primarily service that you can use for your videos. I use this a lot for live events where I put together photo slideshows for events. So say if I have like 200, 300 photos, I put it all together into an Animoto slideshow and I'm able to do that quite quickly rather than trying to manually edit and create a slideshow from scratch. They have a lot of nice templates um, and I currently have the paid version. So I use that quite a bit. So I'm gonna rank this in B. One of the reasons I'm ranking it a little lower is because it's not really that customizable. You're kind of stuck with the templates that you're given inside Animoto. But for basic slideshows, I use this a lot. All right, let's dive into the next one. The next one's Artlist. I use Artlist a lot. I've been using them for the last two, three years right now. And I do have to say Artlist, when it comes to music, they're probably one of the best out there. All of their music tracks are really high quality and this subscription I go to first when I'm trying to find a really good song. They also have footage plans that you can buy as well. I primarily don't really use the footage from Artlist a lot just because their library is a little smaller and I usually go to a bigger library such as Storyblocks and Bado Elements where they have more to choose from. But I do have to say their footage is really high quality. I'm gonna rank Artlist in A, A for Artlist, because they are a really solid service with some room for improvement. All right, so the next one is Dehancer. Dehancer, I discovered a few months ago, they actually reached out to me. And this is a pretty cool plugin for Premiere Pro, or an effect, I should say. So Dehancer emulates film stock. So you get a bunch of these film stocks that you can apply to your footage. This is really good for color correcting and color grading to kind of fine tune and make it look like a film look. They also have a lot of cool effects such as Halation and Bloom to really fine tune and give it that really authentic film look. There's not really any other plugin that I've found so far that kind of does this. So this is kind of like a, a very interesting and unique um, effect that you can purchase and add to your video clips. I'm gonna rank this in S tier because there's not really anything like this out there that I've come across. And it doesn't really have any significant weaknesses. It is a little pricey if you get the lifetime plan, but if you're serious about color grading and film stocks, then this is a really good investment. All right, so next on our list is Digital Juice. I got Digital Juice a long time ago, actually. Digital Juice is kind of, it, it's, it's one of the OGs of like stock video and music uh, websites out there. I think it came out either in the early 2000s or late 90s. It's been, a, it's been out there for a while. 
and it does show with the assets on the website. You'll notice that there's a lot of standard definition assets still on the website. A lot of their graphics and music is very kind of like more basic and it looks like it was created in like the early 2000s. So when it comes to Digital Juice, this is unique in a way that you can pay once and you have it for life. A lot of these other ones, the most current ones like Artless, Motion Array, and Vado, you have to pay a monthly license to have it. Uh, this is one of the few where you can just like buy and you have like a bunch of stuff for life. So I'm gonna rank this in D. I think if you want something for life, this is okay. There are some golden nuggets in there, but overall it has a long way to go to improve and catch up with a lot of the other services and products in this industry. All right, so the next one, let's go to the next one, which is Easy Edit Pro. So Easy Edit Pro actually reached out to me last year uh, and offered to give me a free pack to use. And I do have to say, I do like them. What's unique about Easy Edit Pro is that they have designed packs for certain things. So like if you're a YouTube creator, they have a you know YouTube pack or they have like you know Titles Pro, which just focuses on titles. So if there's specific things that you want, uh, this is a good budget option for you. But from my experience using them, I'm gonna put them in the B category just because I notice when I download some of the packs from their website, some of the slider controls are a little broken. You just might have to work around some of the controls in the user interface. So if we go to their website, you can kind of see they have the YouTube bundle, the social media pack, Counters Pro, Titles Pro, and they're pretty fairly priced. So if you want something specific in a niche, this is a decent option. And just to show you inside Premiere Pro, it's available under the extension. So when you install it and you download it, it'll be under Easy Edit Viewer, and this is the panel where all your packs are located in. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So the next one is Envato Elements. Envato Elements I've been using for a few years now. I do have to say they are a really good option for pretty much anything you could need creative-wise. They're probably also one of the cheapest options out there at $16.50 a month and you can get pretty much anything. When you go to their website, you can browse stock footage, video templates, music, sound effects, graphic templates for Photoshop, Illustrator, graphic backgrounds, textures, even icons I use quite a bit, presentation templates, photos. They have a lot, and if you're just in the creative field in general, this is a really good solid subscription if you do, like you're kind of like a jack of all trades like I am, where you do like some graphic design, some video editing work, you work with marketing. Um, this is a really good subscription. So when ranking Envato Elements, I am gonna put it in S tier. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint a real defined weakness when it comes to Envato Elements, but I will say the one thing I'm not 100% sold on is their music library. When it comes to their music, I'm just kinda not a fan of the corporate -y type of music sound. I prefer the more authentic music, kinda similar to like what Artlist has. So like in a perfect world, um, what I would do is I would get Envato Elements and if I'm not happy with it, I would probably get like the music and sound effects only bundle from Artlist. And between the two of those, I would be pretty happy with what I would get. The other important thing to note about Envato Elements is say if you go to sign up, you have to start now, you don't get a free trial. Where the other subscriptions do have a free trial. Like for example, Artlist, you can get two months free using my link down in the video description. Or even Motion Array, you can actually create a free account right away and use a lot of free assets on Motion Array um, right out of the gate. Where in Vado, you kind of have to hit the ground running uh, if you want access to their assets. Okay, let's go into the next one. The next one's a free option, it's called Free Pick. So Free Pick's really nice. They have a lot of free graphics on there when I'm looking for backgrounds or illustrations. This is a good place to start for that if you're trying to find free stuff. But in general, I'll put it under C because it's kind of average and it's just a good place to start. All right, so next, let's go to the next service, Mr. Horse. So Mr. Horse is a plugin pack for Premiere Pro and After Effects. I primarily use it for After Effects. I like using Mr. Horse for animating simple like text graphics, maybe in or out animations uh, to layers. It's really good for simple animations like that. Uh, it just kind of saves time as well using that. There's also the paid version, but I don't use the paid version. I just stick with the free version. And I have to say, I use it a lot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rate it in the A category, but just know I don't really have experience with the paid version, but I do use it a lot as is in the free version. All right, so the next 
One is MixKit. So MixKit is owned by Envato Elements and is kind of like an appetizer to Envato Elements in quite a way. So everything on MixKit is actually free. You can download free stock video, templates, graphics, music, sound effects on that website. Um, and it's kind of like you get a taste of what's on Envato Elements a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of signage you'll notice on the MixKit website that points you to Envato Elements. But if you're starting out and you kind of want to find free templates first, this is a really great website to go to first to find some free assets for you to use. So because of that, I'm going to rank it in S tier because it's probably one of the best free websites out there when it comes to stock footage, music, titles, and templates and transitions. All right, so let's continue here. The next one's Motion Array. So I use Motion Array quite a bit. And Motion Array in general is very similar to Envato Elements. If we go to Motion Array, you can see very similar to Envato Elements, you can download video templates, presets, motion graphics, footage, music, sound effects, graphics, photos. They also have plugins for Premiere Pro. The biggest difference between Envato Elements and Motion Array is the pricing. So you can see it's a little bit more expensive than Envato Elements. If you get the monthly plan, it's $29. Right now they're having a sale, but typically it's $19, $20 if you pay annually. So I do have to say Envato and Motion Array, they are very similar. And I think the biggest difference from my personal preference using both uh, services is that Motion Array is a little bit stronger when it comes to presets and templates, uh, those transition packs, the LUTs, and the graphics to really like add and spice up your video. They're stronger in that category. They also have about above average music. I think they're slightly better than Envato Elements when it comes to music. Now, when it comes to Envato Elements, I think they're stronger in actually stock footage and uh, stock graphics. So like actual video clips with the alpha channel that you can put over things, but that's my personal preference and my personal taste when it comes to that. And just to show you inside Premiere Pro here, if you download Motion Array, under Video Effects, if you install it, it'll be in its own folder called Motion Array. So this is what's included when you download it. And then inside Video Transitions, you'll say MA at the beginning, and then those are the transitions. So for Motion Array, I'm gonna rank it in the A tier. I think it's really solid. It's right up there with Artlist, but I think under Envato Elements, just because of the price of it. All right, so the next one is called Pexels. Pexels is really good for stock video and photos. This is also a free app, so similar to FreePick, I'm gonna mark it in the C category, because I don't think it's anything that special, but if you want to check there first before you buy anything, you can see if there's any stock photos or video that you can get for free. And if you go to their website, you can sort by photos or video, type in what you're looking for. And what's really nice is you can sort by the orientation. So if you click on the filters button and go down to vertical, you'll notice that there's a vertical option for vertical content creators. All right, so the next option is Runway. Runway is really nice. Um, Runway is a really cool app, and I highly encourage anyone really to try it out. You can start for free. They have a lot of AI magic tools in there that you can use to either remove the background or motion track objects in your scene. There's a lot of things to try out in there, as well as the new text-to-video feature where you can just create videos out of thin air. It's pretty cool. So with that being said, I'm going to rank Runway in the A category. I think they're really cool, but there is some room for improvement when it comes to the AI tools. One day it will probably be an S tier. All right, so next we have Shutterstock. Shutterstock I use a lot for stock photos. This is my primary go-to place for stock photos. I know there's other ones out there for stock photography, such as you know Getty Images or Adobe Stock, but primarily I think Shutterstock has the most high quality versus like quantity. I think it's a good mixture of having a large pool of images to choose from. The only downside about Shutterstock is it is quite expensive and pricey. So with that being said, I'm gonna rank it in B, just because I do think there are cheaper options out there, but if you're looking for quality, Shutterstock's the way to go. All right, so the next option, Storyblocks. Storyblocks, I don't really use a lot. I usually use only the video templates and stock footage from Storyblocks. I have the video only plan, so I can't really speak when it comes to music or the other parts of Storyblocks. But the stock footage, when it comes to stock footage on Storyblocks, I do believe they have one of the largest libraries uh, when it comes to stock footage. But if you're focused more on the quality of the stock footage, I do highly recommend Artlist because uh, the people on Artlist, the contributors use cinema cameras. 
uh, for a lot of their st stock raw footage. Uh, when it comes to Storyblocks, it's a little uh, lower quality. You don't really know exactly which camera is shot on, um, and that's the biggest difference, I would say. But Artless, they have a smaller library, and Storyblocks has a larger library. So you kind of have to pick and choose. Um, I'm going to rank Storyblocks in the B category, just because I don't really use it that often. But I think it's just kind of like your everyday average stock video subscription. It's also worth pointing out that it's it's a little bit more expensive than a lot of the other options here. All right, so the next one is Track Club. Track Club is a relatively new stock music subscription. And similar to Artlist, Track Club focuses on the quality of the song. So the songs are less corporate -y and come off as like very authentic, very much something you could hear on the radio, like a top 40 hit. But with that being said, in my personal experience using it, I think it really depends on the niche or the type of videos that you work on, whether Track Club would fit for you. I think for niches such as fashion, travel, vlogs, those type of videos Track Club's good for. If you need a song for an event highlight video, which I typically do, like maybe a golf outing, a corporate event, something a little bit more driving, consistent, I think Track Club might not be your best option. You'll notice that when you browse Track Club's library, a lot of the songs have a lot of stems and a lot of different instruments, and the music tracks are very dynamic. I think a good adjective is playful. Track Club's music is very playful. And I think the music on there just fits certain type of video niches better than others. One of the biggest highlights of Track Club is their feature called Mixlab. Mixlab allows you to customize your stock music. So you can choose which stems to include or exclude. You can change the volume of them. So you can really customize the track to your liking. And compared to a lot of the other ones on this list, Track Club is quite more expensive than Artlist or even Envato Elements Motion Array. So I'm gonna rank Track Club in the A category because I do think they have a really high quality product. But I think it depends on the niche or what you're gonna plan to use it for, if it works for you. All right, so the next one's Unsplash. Unsplash is really great for photography. So if you need photos for your video project, I usually go to Unsplash because there's a lot of free options on there that you can choose from. So similar to the other ones, I'm gonna rank it in C because it's just a free online resource for free stock photos. So similar to the other ones, you can go here to see if you can find something that you'd like to use for your video project before paying something like Shutterstock where you have to pay a lot more money to find stock photos, you might be able to find it in Unsplash first. All right, so the next one's Visual Effects Pro. So Visual Effects Pro is unique where they focus on visual effects artists and compositors. So it really depends if it applies to you or not. So if we go to their website here, you'll see that they have a lot of stock like fire elements, gun effects, blood gore, particles, fog and smoke. So they have a lot of different things that you can purchase uh, depending on your own compositing needs. But if you're a visual effects artist, I think this is a good website to keep in mind if you do a lot of compositing. So with that being said, I'm gonna rank this in the A category. Similar to Track Club and the other ones in this category, it's good if you can find a good niche for it or if it fits your type of editing projects. All right, and the last one's YouTube Music. So if you don't know, YouTube offers royalty-free music that you can use for your YouTube videos. So if you're a content creator on YouTube, you can use YouTube Music for music in your video projects. And similar to the other ones, I'm gonna rank it in C because it's good to know that it's there, that you have free options. Whether it's YouTube Music or Mixkit, those are two good areas to get stock music at. So there you have it. Those are the stock footage, music, and creator tools that I use on a daily basis, ranked in my own personal opinion. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below. Let me know your thoughts on these as well if you have experience using these. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.